Hello, this is Gary Pinnell again, and uh, we're going to have a uh, free Spanish lesson, uh, number seven. Esta es uh, la clase de español, uh, lección número siete, and por me llamo Tomás, okay? So I'll give you my Spanish name, and you can get used to using that. This is actually a Spanish lesson for English speakers. And uh, so hopefully you'll enjoy it and we'll see how we do on this. Um, just maybe you will learn some Spanish, okay? Right, here we go. Vamos a empezar, that means let's start. So we have tonight, we're going to be talking about colors and clothes, ropa in Spanish, okay? Here we go. Uh, let's go through the colors first, and I put some objects there. This one's white, obviously. Blanco, think of it as being blank, all right? Blanco. And that's white in English, but in Spanish, blanco. This blank, white, white. That's the way it helps me, okay? Rojo. Now, I put some eyes on uh, rojo. That's red, as you can tell there. So you have, let's all say that together, rojo. Okay, so we had blanco, rojo. Now I put down amarillo, that's yellow. So you see yellow, yellow is kind of light, it's hard to see it, but there it is. Amarillo, and remember the two L's make the Y sound, as if you go back to our uh, alphabet and the sounds and so on. Two L's make the Y sound. So, am, ar, re, the I makes the E sound. Amarillo, okay? That's yellow in English. Here we go. Negro. Negro is black. And um, it's not the same as negro, but negro probably does come from like Africa. Uh, maybe originally, I'm not sure on that, but negro means black. Okay, so you can remember that. Verde and there, the R is not real strong. It's almost like a TH sound. Verde, verde, okay, with the D. The D is not strong. In Spanish, it's not very strong, okay? Verde, so let's say that, verde. Let's repeat it. Okay, blanco. Everybody say it with me, please. Rojo, amarillo, negro, verde. I don't know about you, but I love learning languages. And I've only really, you know, learned a lot of Spanish. And, but I like hearing other languages. And it's just fun to kind of learn these. So throw yourself into it. Enjoy it. Okay, here we go. Greece. Now I put... Uh, I couldn't find the actual gray around the house, so I just put uh, grease, a little gray coin, which is kind of silver there. But anyway, in English, it's, it's spelled G-R-A-Y. Now, believe me here, people. I know English and Spanish pretty good. Been teaching it for probably 35 years, both languages. All right. So gray can also be spelled G-R-E-Y. But this is usually the spelling in Canada or England, Australia, other countries. We usually hear in, a, in the United States, we spell it gray, G-R-A-Y. But Spanish, grease. You know how I think of that? I think of my mom used to use real grease, pork grease, and that sort of thing. It's kind of gray, isn't it? Well, maybe that will help you. Grease, okay? So let's repeat these numbers here. And we're going to keep the lesson short, less than a half hour, so you don't get bored or anything. I hope that you will listen and watch this many, many times and just enjoy it all the way through and learn all these fun things. And you know what? A good way to learn another language is if you're a parent or a grandparent, you could be teaching your grandkids. Today I was teaching some of my great-grandkids some of uh, Spanish. And it's fun. They like it. And that's the best time to learn it when they're children. So you could be teaching as well. All right. So let's go over it again. Blanco, rojo, amarillo, 
negro, verde, gris. Now, I will tell you that, of course, this is the singular. In other words, it's um, modifying one particular noun. But if it were two, you would have to make it plural. And we're going to talk about that later because the O's and the A's can be made plural. But right now we're just talking about the singular. So now let's go over here to some other colors. And we have anaranjado. Now that's probably the hardest one of all. An, an, ara, ha, anaranjado. Okay, I have to put the N in with the, this part. Anaranjado. Okay, anaranjado. And that's a tough one, I admit it. That means orange, okay? Let's go to cafe. Now they have other names for Spa in Spanish for brown, but uh, this is the most common as far as I can tell, at least in the United States. Cafe is brown, and I could be mistaken. And by the way, when we put on our uh, information, I put on there, Bible-Christian.org. You can go there for these Spanish lessons. But also, I will put Pinnell, GT at charter.net because that's where you can write us a note and put a comment, a question, that sort of thing. So you Spanish speakers, you know if I'm saying this correctly or not and if I need some corrections. But anyway, here we go. Then, so, cafe is brown, anaranjado, orange, rosado, pink. Again, there's other ways to say pink, but let's just use this one here. Rosado, pink. Morado, purple. Now, purpola, I believe, is another way of saying it. But I will be honest with you. That is kind of hard just to pronounce sometimes. So, morado is purple. Okay. Then you have azul. And the azul, the Z almost like zoo, azul. And then... Uh, that's blue, okay? Now, so let's go over these again, and then we'll go over all the colors, and then we'll do some clothes. Here we go, because your clothes got to have some color to them, right? Okay, anaranjado, let's say that, orange. Café, brown. Rosado, pink. Morado, purple. Azul, blue. Okay, I think we hit all the colors there. Now let's go right through the whole list of colors. And you can practice this on your own, walking around the house saying, Oh, Blanco. Oh, Negro. Oh, Cafe, etc. Okay. All right, let's go over these again. Blanco. Rojo. Amarillo. Negro. Verde. Gris. Anaranjado, Café, Rosado, Morado, Azul. Now, you can say them and know the colors, and I hope that you will practice those. Now, let's go to some objects, some clothes, and that sort of thing. Uh, okay, some of these I have a picture for, not all of them. Here we go. El Vestido. That would be El Vestido is a dress, okay? So there you have it. Uh, Los Pantalones. Well, we've got El Pantalón Corto <laughs> there. Los Pantalones are pants or slacks, okay? What I have on here, these would be called pantalones, uh, slacks, okay? And then you have, uh, we have El Sombrero, hat. And I used to think, well, uh, sombrero is just one of the big ones, the fancy ones, and so on. No, it can be just any kind of hat, too. El sombrero. All right. And then, la falda. That's a skirt. Don't have a picture of that one here. There wasn't enough room. La chaqueta. Jacket. Okay. Then, los, cal los cal uh, calcetines. His socks. Now here we have la camisa. Camisa is a shirt. Later on we'll have camiseta, and that's a t-shirt. But a camisa is a shirt. Okay, right over here. And then los zapatos. Oops, I'll see if you can't see me here. 
Los zapatos, shoes. Now that's an Arabic word and it came in when the uh, Arabs uh, took over, or the Muslims took over uh, Spain and places and there was words from different uh, countries, los zapatos. And, and uh, then uh, we have the same thing in English. A lot of different countries have contributed to our language, which is kind of fun to study about. All right, and so now let's go over all of these things here again. And let's, uh, uh, oops, I want you to be able to see me. <laughs> El vestido, dress. Okay. Uh, Okay, los pantalones, pants or slacks. Um, el pantalón corto, that would be shorts, so you know that one. Los zapatos, shoes. La camisa, a shirt. This is a camisa. La falda, skirt. El sombrero, hat. La chaqueta, jacket. La, la, los calcetines socks okay all right so hopefully that's helping and now you see if you know some colors and you know some objects we could talk about it a little bit look at this one here la camisa cafe on one side <laughs> media de este okay uh, all right let's talk about uh El sombrero, what color would that be? Closest to kind of amarillo, I think, or possibly blanco. But, okay, and then if we had the shoes, los zapatos, what colors? Well, there's various colors in there, aren't there? Let's see, the shoes. Uh, los zapatos, what colors? I see blanco, and uh, on the parts of it and then I can see grease over here and rojo so different colors uh, so we could say el sombrero and in Spanish you put the color afterwards el sombrero blanco all right el sombrero amarillo then uh, let's see los pantalones what color are my pants los pantalones negros now because it's plural that's where you get into negros so you put an s on the end, negros because it's both of them it's not just one leg but both legs pantalones uh, negros okay and then how about the shirt we camisa camiseta no camisa camisa E la camisa and it helps to use the articles with things la camisa and this one is azul e I see verde I see blanco so various colores verdad uh, various uh, different colors okay now let's go over again and we're just going to wind it up here real quick because I don't want these lessons to be too long so you can just go over it and over it and have fun with them and you're not going to get bored but anyway here we go so let's do all the colors first this time I'll put it in English as well as Spanish here we go blanco white rojo red amarillo yellow negro blanco excuse me negro black I don't know what I'm thinking verde green Grease, gray, okay. Let's go over to this other side. Here we go. Anaranjado, orange. Cafe, brown. Rosado, pink. Morado, purple. Azul, blue. Uh, all right. Now, let's try something here. What if I, what if I point to a color and you tell me what color that is. All right, here we go. I'll mix them up a little bit. What color is this? Que color es este? Okay. What color is this? Oh, if you said negro, that was correct. Okay. What color is this? 
Rojo. If you said rojo, that's correct. What color is this? Grease. Okay. See, you're doing real well. You're remembering. Okay, let's go over here and let's try these. Let's do the real long one. Anaranjado. That takes a little practice. Anaranjado. Okay. Orange. All right. What if I point to one now? What color is that? Mm, if you said rosado, you're right. What color is, que color is este? Azul. Correct. Correcto. Correcto mundo. <laughs> I just like to mix it up a little bit. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's go up here. Que color is este? This oval is, has color de café. All right. Que color is Este. Oh, morado. Muy bien. Excellent thing. Okay. Mis zapatos. You can't see them. But if I were to lift them up, I don't know if I can get them that high. Uh, I don't think so. Okay. But they're negro. <laughs> zapatos negros. Okay. All right. So there you go. And that's todo por esta noche. This is all for tonight. Uh, gracias por asistirnos, in other words, for being with us, and uh, uh, Dios lo bendiga. Hasta la próxima vez.